Alright, we're out here. Wow. Blasting off the pick one. It's hot as hell out there in California. North to south. I don't think there's any cool place, maybe San Francisco. Uh, and we're gonna get some. Hey, that should have done something. Oh, yeah, look at that dumpling. So, very, very wild. Got this strawberry mango smoothie. So, I'm gonna try it. Whoa, that was pretty dang good. It's got delicious strawberry taste to it. And a little hint of mango. The mango hits you right after. And there's boba in here. It's pretty dang good. They make it themselves here, I think. So they boil it up. And uh, this smoothie is definitely not a fruit smoothie. I think they've used powder because it tastes pretty uh, sweet and sugary. Yep. But definitely good though. Thanks. I like it. So first we got this mix up that spicy wonton because you want all that spice and scallions all over that. Ooh. So delicious too looking. Nice, that's some excellent stirring skills. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's get one of those. As you can see. It's covered. So the plan is, if it's really good, I'm gonna take the extra wontons over there and then dip into the sauce and then drink it in that soup. But let's find out first how it tastes. Mmm. This is pretty good. Take to it. Delicious. Thank you. Ooh, delicious. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna pick one of these soup dumplings. So the best idea is to take one of these spoons, take the soup dumpling, and you put it onto the spoon like this. And what you usually do is you put some of that ginger over here and the um, red vinegar and then you put it on top like that. So you take one like this. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, mm. Mm. Oh, okay. This flavor is more subtle, huh? It's very subtle flavor. It's like, it's almost like you barely even taste uh, a lot of the flavoring. It's like you have to actually have a clear, clean palate when you eat that. We gotta like, finish that one first before we eat the, that stuff because that stuff will over flavor this stuff. So we gotta eat this. That's highly recommended in my opinion. Either that or you put the hot sauce on that and then eat it, and you eat it with this. But then, uh, we have done. Yeah. Mmm. That's definitely so. Whoa. Yeah, if you definitely ate a lot of stuff before this, it will definitely cover and mask the taste of this Zhao Long Bao soup dumplings. The flavoring is like not overpowering, not overly salty. It's very, very mild, savory taste to it. It's like a soup based dumpling, and it was good. What do you think about that one ton soup? It's pretty good. It's very pretty good. authentic. Yeah? It doesn't overpower our flavor. Really? 
I guess I'll try it too. It's made of bow. Let's try this on that soup. Yeah, it is pretty good. That's what I describe it as like this good Christmas evening type of uh, company. Yep, this is definitely a Chinese Christmas type flavor. You would eat at a Chinese dinner. It's even more like a Chinese breakfast. Yeah. Christmas breakfast. Onion wrapper gifts. Yeah, onion wrapper gifts. And have a delicious wonton. Yeah. Definitely a mild flavor to this too. Yeah, all the flavors here are very mildly flavored. Mmm. Are you ready to try the big bun? Not yet. The lamb. The lamb. I didn't even know you ordered that. Yeah, lamb pies. There's two of them. There's chives and lamb in it. Here's the Kung Pao bread. You wanna break bread with me, bro? Let me let me get the video. You wanna break bread? Or you wanna do the video? Yeah, go ahead. Look at that massive. There's lots of that. Nice. Alright, that meat. Whoa, that's a Kung Pao, Kung Pao bun. So it really tastes like is uh, I don't know if you had the foil chicken before. It's like they have foil chicken and that one juicy soy sauce they put in, in foil and they just shove it into this bun. So it's like foil chicken inside of a bun. Very savory. This is the saltiest thing I had over here so far. And it's got a kick spice. That's amazing. It's amazing, bro. I like it. Right here is the lamb and onion pie. So it's actually a cake slash pie. And it looks like a cookie. It's kind of thick, like this. Let's try one of these. Wow. Whoa. That was hot. This thing was sitting here for like a good 15 minutes and it's still hot as hell inside. Not hot as hell, I should probably take that back. It's hot. Hot like a burning oven. Oh, shoot, it's hot. Yeah. The inside of it has uh, chives and lamb. Mmm. The lamb bits are, yeah, very, very soft. It was like they spice it the same way they spice the uh, dumplings. It's very salty. Is it really that hot? Yeah. <laughs> salty, savory. Definitely perfectly spiced. And um, this is yummy. I love it. Mmm. That's good. Huge. This huge pork bun. It's the size of my fist. And right next to it. Look at that. It's bigger than my fist. It's humongous. So, uh, take that bun. Just break it. Uh -huh. Look at that. Still so hot. Crazy. Stop it. It's good, but not as good as that Kung Pao one. Definitely fluffy though, and moist. 
Yeah, this will help was definitely the way to go.